Thanks for inviting me to speak on behalf of the group running Cafe Sci from Zoom. I'm not going to talk too much today about the sorts of content that we cover, only to say that we have been focusing quite heavily on the COVID experience, including the impact on rural recovery, urban spaces and mental health, which is huge. Instead, I'm going to talk a little bit about the purpose of our cinema, seminars for engagement, what we're hoping to achieve and the experience that we believe we've been able to deliver during lockdown. Cafe Sci was founded in 2019 by Nikki and Graham Law to engage community with scientific topics in a way that we hoped would overcome the very common divide between science and the non-academic world. In academia, we are often not particularly good at communicating outside of our own little sphere. And this is something that is a problem to do with our specific training, our training in writing for journals, in presenting at conferences, and even the format of lectures. Even the way we relate to one another can be a little unnecessarily formal at times. Our entire ontology, our beliefs about the validity of knowledge and various knowledge sources, for example, science over the lived experience of people, can be quite othering uh, for people outside of academia. As a scientist, and I'm sure this is a very common experience, many of us have had the, uh, the experience of unintentionally isolating others. And this is something that we probably all know from topics like climate change and are becoming more familiar with around the topic of COVID. Now more than ever, we are recognizing the importance of communicating in ways that are not isolating understanding where the ideas and perspectives of other people come from and validating those experiences. Cafe Sci has been one way that we are attempting to overcome that divide. The seminars typically involve two sections. Firstly, a lecture style presentation by an academic, a wine break, very important, and then a second answer and question style session. I've been involved over the years in many efforts to try and establish a group like this, and some efforts have been more effective than others. I can honestly say Cafe Sci has been successful in many ways, and I can pin that down to, amongst other things, three important factors. The first factor is the respect of every single participant towards others, even when conflicting opinions arise. We have covered in our sessions many controversial topics and over the time that I've been involved, not once have we had a harsh comment either from an academic presenting or from a participant in the audience. In a lot of ways, I put this down to our fantastic hosts, Nikki and Graham Law, but also I believe it is the goodwill of the people involved, knowing that this is an opportunity that we all benefit from. The second key point that I think is to do with the success of this forum is the nature of the presentations and the efforts of academics to present complex topics in a problem-centric way. What I mean by that is that we work with quite difficult frameworks and ideas sometimes. However, in reality, a lot of our work is related to problem solving. And if we can start from the problem rather than the complex framework or theory that we're dealing with, we become a lot more accessible to other people. And we've realized this has been a really, really important approach to take when it's come to discussing COVID on our, or during our online sessions. The third factor has been validating the input of every participant, whether old or young, and of varying degrees of education. That validation has meant that many of the same people come back, feel free to express opinions where they otherwise might not. Probably because we established such a positive atmosphere prior to lockdown, when the pandemic was announced, we decided, you know what, we don't actually need to stop these sessions. We can take them online. And the Zoom platform has been fantastic. One of the things that we have been focusing on is encouraging people to discuss their own fears, concerns, as well as both their positive and negative experiences during lockdown. The emotive experience of people in the world is very, very difficult to measure and monitor, but we recognise it's critical for mental health. We are living in a rapidly changing world and it's likely that we will need to continue using on time, online platforms for some time to come, supplementing personal in-person experiences. Academia and research have been at the forefront of addressing the pandemic in terms of understanding things like contagion, infection and biological impacts. 
we're now starting to realise the equal, if not more important for the long-term impacts of mental health. Giving people a platform to engage with academia and complex ideas, also to express their concerns, has a dual purpose. Obviously, there is a knowledge dissemination function, but there's also a, a, a facilitation of a positive experience that might help mental health during a time when so much is changing around us and many people are facing isolation and loneliness. We believe it is the responsibility of those in academia to offer these experiences and be leaders in community as well as traditional uh, on campus. Cafe Sci is an excellent example of this, but there are many others that should be celebrated. Thank you and feel free to shoot me an email if you would like to attend our future seminars.